Yo, what is up, you guys? I'm DeAndre. I'm Javante. And this is Dre and Jay here today to do a review on The Book of Boba Fett, episode 7, yes. the season finale. I was kidding. This show is so fucking... Okay, you, you wouldn't ask for that. Go ahead. Hey. I enjoyed the finale. It was good for me. Look, I, it didn't have no um, surprise cameos or surprise things that... You know, I, that we're used to seeing in a lot of these Star Wars shows. Um, I will say a lot of things were watered down or, or kind of, um, you know, brought things that seemed that they were in a larger scale brought to a smaller scale. I mean, we, we see Boba and like how uh, he views the pipe syndicate and how their control over Tat Tatooine. He, can, he describes it as a war when in this episode it was basically just one battle and then it was over. Um, so I didn't appreciate that uh, from the start and then also I gotta bring up the baby Yoda thing uh, he was in this episode as well and he returned to Mando and I just feel like that was I don't know like it's, it's hard because it's like you watch Mandalorian episode 8 or not Man the last episode of Mandalorian season 2 and you have all this emotion like they're not gonna they might not see each other again and then they end up seeing each other and it's like just within a short time period, and you know I Are you I really surprised by that? I'm not so no I'm saying I'm saying it it ruins it a bit like the emotional level but at the same time I understand why they did it because obviously Disney views Baby Yoda and Grogu or Grogu as a selling point but then I also view it as okay so you don't trust Mandalorian you know, to carry his own show or to establish his own show. Well, it's you, not don't, just that. you don't really care about the story of, of the Mandalorian it's because not, you want to bring in and, and involve Baby Yoda or involve Grogu. Um, but it's not just that, as well. Because the, the problem is the timeline's fucked. Well, that too. You could have kept Baby Yoda with him anyway. Well, that too. When Luke, when Luke anyway, yeah. eventually you had Kylo Ren coming in. You'd be like, okay, so... Yeah, because people would have been disappointed, oh, finding out that, oh, Gro Grogu died in the Jedi Temple. Or, well, also, or Grogu... Kylo Ren's his first, his first student. Yeah, that too. So it wouldn't make sense anyway. Yeah. So just because the timeline's kind of fucked, you kind of have to, like, maneuver. Yeah. But, you know, go ahead. Um, I'm, just, I'm just saying, like, saying, like, off the top of my head what I liked from this episode. The Rancor. Bubble riding that fucking Rancor was badass. Are oh, you going with what you did like what you did like? Oh, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing let's it out. Start, let's get some order. Let's go with what we liked and when we go with what we did like. Let's go with what we liked. Okay, well, I like the Rancor. Like the Rancor. That tight. shit was dope. That yeah. shit was tight. Of course, hey. tight. My man King Kong. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was fucking up them damn, um... Uh, them battle, the, I don't know what they fuck they were, but they're yeah. those droids that resemble the like big. I think they call spire or something. Yeah, something like that. yeah. The Rancor was tight. Seeing the Rancor, I knew we were gonna see it. Uh, I think we all knew. Seeing it was tight. Uh, I like the scene with Mandalorian, Boba Fett, both in the, the jetpacks flying around mm -hmm. and stuff, shooting and stuff. That was tight. Uh, I like the conversation between Mando and, and Boba Fett when they about to go out there. Mando's like, "I'm not leaving you." You know, I'm like, "I'm here. I give you my word." I like that. Um... Trying to think of what I liked. Uh, seeing Cad Bane was dope. Seeing Cad Bane versus Boba Fett was tight. Um, and uh, yeah, right for me. And look, like I, I know people are like disappointed that Cad Bane died. I don't, or, think, he died. I don't think he died either. I'm, I'm, and yeah, I'm glad that you think that as well. Um, because his thing was beeping. Yeah. At the end, and if you guys don't know this, in the Star Wars like animated shows, he always travels with this robot companion named Toto. So it probably, you know, the his heartbeat or, you know, a little beeping thing on his chest probably signaled to Toto like, hey, I need help. Yeah. So he probably rescued him and revived him or something. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, don't I, don't, I don't think Cad Bane's dead. Um, but I did like the fact that, you know, we gave Bubble got some justice. Yeah. He was cold. Don't lie. Yeah, he was cold. Though. There he, was cold. His he was going very with the, with the what's it called. And it's, like, and it's like nice poetic justice because it's like, okay, fine. I couldn't beat you with my ways of, you know, old fashioned. Gun. Gun. I can't outgun you. Yeah, I can't outgun you. Can't you guns quicker. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm going to surprise you with something that I picked up mm -hmm. during my time where, you know, I was, what well, I wasn't bubble fed. Yeah, the people that, kill, uh, that your that your, your boss killed. Yeah. So yeah, that was, um, you know, look, let me say this. For Star Wars, the shows, if, uh, you know, as a Star Wars fan, you're like, okay, it's, it's not bad. The episode wasn't bad. The episode wasn't bad at all. If I had to rate the episode, it gets about five and a half, six out of ten. Just for the episode. Really? Yes. Huh. Um, I give it a good seven and a half, eight out of ten. See, and as a Boba Fett show, well, I'm at the Boba Fett show, 
It gets a three and a half. And we can get into that a little bit more later on. Oh, no, I want to hear it now. Go ahead. Let, well, so on, I, I got a whole bunch of rant, 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 to rant off. I yeah, go ahead. What, what you got? So I was watching this show, right? Mm -hmm. um, right when it premiered, I was watching it. And a lot of things I didn't like. Okay, first, let's start with the, with the Mando uh, Baby Yoda. I feel like this show relied heavy. I feel like this show relied heavy on the Mandalorian and cameos. From, B, from BK to Grogu. BK. Black Santa. Oh. Oh, BK. Black Santa. BK, Grogu, Luke, Ahsoka. I feel like the show relied a, the whole the show in general relied a lot on cameos, but this episode relied a lot on cameos as well. I didn't even see Grogu in this episode. You could show Grogu him Grogu going back to him or Luke dropping Grogu off in Mandalorian season episode one or something like that. Or that could be a post credit scene. You know what I mean? Leading back to Mando. But like I feel like both fit was outshining this show completely, which is why the show got a bad. I, I'll show like that. The show's kind of bad at me. But this episode, we can start with a lot of things. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You gotta admit, though, it was cute the way but Grogu jumped into his arms. That was cool, but dog, that's the thing. Nigga, it wasn't cool. That shit was cute. God damn it. That's the problem, though. I'm tired. they milking Grogu to the end, bro. They've been milking. I'm tired of Gro Grogu's cute. We get it. But goddamn, Grogu ain't. This ain't Grogu's show. This is Boba Fett. This ain't Grogu. Like damn, and I said I don't that. care. I, I agree. Well, I'm I, saying I, I told I told you. Look, as far as the Grogu and Mando reunion, that shit shouldn't have happened till season three. No, we should have had time. Even Mando with even Mando, I we follow Mando a lot over Boba Fett. I'm fine. I was fine with man, having Mando. Oh, you talking about during the the fight and the yeah, battle? yeah. I thought we fought a lot of Mando, bro. Like, even when he's driving up the thing, I'm like, bro, we gotta fall Mando the whole time. I'm like, damn, Mando got it. Like, sheesh. You would, you would think the book of Boba Fett would have... Per this show felt like it, Mando. It would have the point of view during the battle of Boba Fett. Like, Facts. if you're going to show Boba Fett leaving, it should show him, you know, getting the... Um, you could show, you could show the gate. You could show Boba Fett laying at the gate and open the gate up like, oh, it's time. Yeah, like that. And coming yeah. Back. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't act like that. The Grogu thing bothered me. Um, also, the, 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 the Power Rangers, people call them the Riders, <laughs> they was weak. They were. They were weak. <laughs> you see that spin move, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were oh, weak. Oh, man. That shit was funny. I got, I, I, they were weak. Black Crescenta. I get that comic book while he's tight. Crescentin. Black Crescentin. BK. I get that in the comic books. He's tight. He was not tight in the show. What you talking about? He got buddy. What you, what? He had all oh, these niggas talk. He was all hurt the whole fucking episode. He, how, 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 what, what he do he got episode? shot. Okay, oh, oh, he got but shot. But you ever see any moment where he showed his dominance like the, 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 the comic books make him stop speed? They showed all them boss looking niggas tackling him, and then he able he was able to get out of it. He took, you know, when he got there, he got out. He was still he was driving around. Cool. I'm talking about seeing him put some work. He's a gladiator, DeAndre. He's been putting work in the past what two episodes? What he what? Been, not okay, not two episodes. He you saw him rip somebody's arm off, and that was it. Even when he was fighting the Power Rangers and Boba Fett, he was getting his shit worked. Okay, he did get worked. He ain't got he ain't, he didn't do shit all show, bro. Let's keep it real. I'm, but go, go, you, do you read those comic books? I read those comic books. But I, I, shout out Star Wars theory. I've seen those comic book stories of this man, and he's a different beast. He's a gladiator. Hey, he whooped Chewbacca's ass. I feel like when he was doing this, I'm what Chewbacca could do. He was younger. Bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. I no, 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 come on. You, you, can you tell me uh, Chewie would have been carrying all of these off and shit? Probably. This, DeAndre, did, Black, did he stand out when, when Bubba, Bubba said he get some more muscle? I thought, oh. He gonna handle his. But he can't handle anything, but my guy. But technically, nobody was able to handle because it they was got like, ambushed. They got yeah. ambushed. But yeah. still, even when I'm seeing him, I'm thinking he's gonna be able to do more as a gladiator, as a warrior. He's a true warrior. See, I think you expecting too much, my guy. That's what the character's been built up. Okay, I mean, you make bring a character in a lot of action. Excuse me, guys. That's been portrayed a certain way in the comics. Mm -hmm. What you mean? I'm, I'm asking too much. That's what the character is. It's like if they brought if they brought um. Darth Raven, Darth Raven to live action, or Star Killer to live action. What? You supposed to be do, do some dope shit? I, I don't know what the hell you expect him to do. Let me ask He's you. He's a gladiator. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like he was doing what Chewbacca could do. Look, one, when gladiators usually fight, it's one v one, or they or they face an army, a little army of niggas, and they expect it. He was ambushed, and yeah, he was still throwing the niggas off. Bro, you could show him. They and, literally and that showed. Was, and that they was, showed about ten of them niggas on top of him. Uh, and he was, able, well, he was able to get all those creatures shit. he didn't like anyway. Those people he didn't like, right? Yeah. He should be fucking up. I want to see him rip arms off, biting motherfuckers off, biting motherfuckers. 
throwing them off. One, you ain't, you know they ain't. No, they ain't got to show them. blood. They show them ripping their arms off. You can show them ripping their arms off. You can show them biting, uh, biting. It's be like, a, a, just try to survive. A gladiator fights to survive. It's survival. Again, daughter, I think you were expecting too much from that. Then let's keep going. The Giants hey, are going to finish the game. Hey, but I found it funny how the motherfucker got shot. And then, and then once the droids came, you see the shot of that motherfucker running. So it's like, yeah. now you can run. And then when it goes back, when the, like the camera focuses on him, he's lifting. He was again. trash. He was trash. Also, even, even when he tried to, when he had that moment, I thought he was gonna be able to do something. That moment, when he's like touching the thing and shit like that, trying to like go and fuck with it. He got his shit rocked in. He was getting shit rocked all episode, bro. Let's be honest. No, 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 I'm gonna keep going. No, I'm not done yet. Disappointed with it. But also. Okay. John Favreau, you gotta hold this L. And who's the director? What's his name? Uh, Robert Rodriguez. You gotta hold this L. Okay. I don't know what happened over there. This don't. This ain't that Mando quality, bro. I feel like this shit was low budget. It didn't feel. It felt low budget. That shit felt low budget. So Mando never feels like that. I feel like Mando feels. We even talked about this before. Mando feels like a higher quality of this, like they put the money into Mando. I didn't feel like they put the money into Boba Fett. The the, the scene didn't look. They didn't look good. You know. What? To didn't, me, I, didn't I bring up this point a couple, what, couple, uh... Yeah, I never said with you. I thought you did. We literally said, I said, I Mando, better. we said Channel 5 of the show, right? Looked right. better when Mando, when Mando was doing it, it looked better than when we saw Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. The whole show so far. Well, okay, all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's another thing, bro. It just felt cheap. It just didn't feel, it didn't feel like it was, it didn't feel like it. And then also, when I look at it, that fight scene... Which one? The whole thing was too damn long. We were doing the same shit. I got bored. We were doing the same shit for two days. I get we're in a war. I get this is a battle. But can we show some other shit? Like, they always said this. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Go, bait, go hide somewhere else. Run. Hide somewhere else. I thought that seemed just too long. For, not, for nothing going on, it was too long. I felt like it was, a, it was boring. They made it too long. I should have cut that shit down a little bit. Whoa. And show some different shit. What else are you going to show, Jamal? You could have show different. See, what I'm saying is, all we saw was a, a, a run, go get to cover. Come out, bang. Ryan gets to cover again. And you could show a little bit more. That's my other problem with the show. I feel like the, the fight scene was just too long and not entertaining. Mm -hmm. Then, another thing. Back to budget. We only had two damn big droids, bro. They brought two droids. That's it? Just two droids? All you had is two damn droids? I thought it was three. No, no it was two, two of them. Now. The whole damn show, two droids? That is... That is it. This it was supposed to be like this, right? Technically, right. I mean, they didn't expect the people of what's called uh, Freetown. They didn't expect them to help. So DeAndre, it's not, it's not like they over here. Oh, we gotta bring out the whole bro, up. DeAndre, oh. DeAndre. This is this, go back, giant. This is a season finale, bro. Okay. This is gonna be epic. Okay. Did this feel like a season finale to you? Hell no. This was I like. Hey, bro, look, I need another episode. This should not compare Mando season one, season two, season finale. When you look at any show. Except for Game of Thrones last season. Power. Any show we watch. Euphoria. The season finale is supposed to leave you like, oh shit. It's going to be the hype, most amped up episode. We're like, oh shit. And it's not even based off just Ice Team. Because I ain't, I ain't, look. I know the Luke Skywalker episode and the episode with Mando is dope. But I expect to see more epicness in this last episode. This start all this big battle. We're thinking about all these fucking mob bosses coming together. It's like that's this big ass war. And like you said, it's not that big of a war. And then we ain't doing nothing for real. Yeah. Well, I can say that the whole conflict with Boba and, you know, the mob bosses and the pites, that should have been, you know, spread out for, you know, more episodes, you know, as far as like, oh, they actually show the pites terrorizing the town. You, you, you have that extended for a few episodes yeah. and then you lead up to, you know, a big battle or something at the end. I just like this show lost. I like this show the first two episodes, like, even though the first episode started slow, but if you put the second, if you put the first two out together... You know, back to back, then it's better. But I feel like the show lost direction where it wanted to be. Hmm. It started off like a certain way and it really just lost itself. I think it lost like, and I think part of that is because they did go with the Mando episode and the Luke Skywalker episode, and it's kind of like, okay, well, what what's, what are we doing? Yeah, that's that's on you. You expect <laughs> that's not that's not. I'm, 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 it's I'm, a Boba Fett show. What the fuck you mean? I've been too much. That's exactly my fucking point, nigga. You watched the first fucking, what, four episodes? You should have known that once it went back to Boba, it wasn't going to be up to the last two episodes, nigga. I didn't say it had to be. I literally said two minutes ago, it didn't have to be. I said I said season finale to be epic. And what made you think that would? Because it just, has, has, has any Disney Plus show not had an epic season finale? We're like, oh shit, can't wait to see what comes next. 
where every Disney Plus show also st uh, kept with the same character for the whole fucking series. No, I agree. I'm just saying, you could have, if you're going to do what, you, what they do with the Mandalorian shit and bring them all together, I expected more epicness. With Finn and Shan all, and the whole crew, I expected more epicness. Black and Man, we were talking about, oh, she got the whole squad, but he's going deep in that bitch. I just expected more. As far as like, and I'm like, for characters, I, fuck it, you don't want to bring all the cameos, cool. But I couldn't see these characters put in work. That's what I'm saying. See, I didn't because it's like, you have your army. Yeah, I mean, it's technically, you have your army. You have people of Freetown who come. And it's not like the townspeople were fighting. No. So you, you literally had those people fighting against a whole army of pike. pike uh, so I would, you don't have to this. Oh, go ahead. You have the pikes. You have the droids. So you're, you're, at, that, at that point. You have the, the other mob bosses people too. Yeah, you had the other yeah exactly. You had the other mob bosses people. So I didn't, I wasn't what's the word? I don't know. Like I wasn't expecting too much to go with that. Like with those characters. Like, you know, sure, he he built. It was like a um, like Rogue One. No, but you know what's I picture? Rogue One had an epic last battle. That's just epic. Also, those characters were. Oh, here you go. See, you bought Rogue One and you want to change up again. Epic. Well, then they start with. with one, the they, yeah. one, Rogue One, we knew the Mid was going to die. No, so but still, know, so even the fight scene was still you, epic. You had to make it epic. And, okay, fine. Go to something else. Look at even, um, you look at any goddamn Star Wars we've seen. It's different. It's like, it's like, um. Any Star Wars you've watched, hold on, hold on, hold on. the ending's always epic. It's, it's like the first one. Kind of. The first what? The first Star Wars. Fan Miss? Yeah. At an epic ending. And you led you to what you knew was coming next. Oh my god. What I'm trying to say is like the, like the people. The, what's it called? Padme and her, her little group. Yeah. They were fighting off the droids. I consider, I view that the same as where the... But that's the problem. This is this is the show based around this character. You can't make that... Padme was a side piece of the damn Jedi. You can't do the same thing with this show. That's what I'm saying. It's a problem. You're saying the show was good. The episode was good. It... it, it I didn't say, I didn't say the episode was Just give it eight and a half. I said seven and a half, eight. Okay, still that means good. That's good. Yeah. So my you have a B. So what I'm saying is, the epic was that. Then also the Cad Bane fight. It was dope. Wish it was longer. It was too damn short. Do you not feel like Cad Bane fight was short as hell? What What were you expecting? A little bit longer of a fight. I think people look. I don't. I don't. I don't people see that damn comic, that little cartoon skit that they had created that never came out. The one that's edited. I'm not talking about that kind. I'm just talking about. This is two of the biggest bounty hunters, right? Mm -hmm. This is the two baddest, right? Yeah. I expected more epicness. I expected them to, I expected a longer battle, bro. Tim, it just felt short. Why? These are two of the ep most epic bounty hunters at an old age. No, bullshit. <laughs> Cat Bane was, <laughs> was still faster than that man. And okay. Cat Bane's older than his ass, and Cat Bane gave him two. Boom. Yeah, that's their style. That's their MO. It's, it's like, hey. Fuck no, it. I get that. What I'm saying is, off, you're using one you're shot. using age, but Cat Bane was two. Bam. Cat Bane felt like he was still doing his thing. Yeah, but I'm saying, how do you expect more in a battle when it's literally two fucking characters who are du like dueling up against each other, and it's basically one shot. Whoever gets the fuck that, out, it should have been like that. What do Cat you Bane mean? makes this for Cat Bane to do that. You could have shown Boba Fett doing some other shit, flying off of the jetpack. You could have shown Cat to this tight. Cat Bane flying in the air with his boots and j the jetpack flying in the air, them flying in the air. That'd be tight. They both can fly. That'd be tight. That actually would have been tight, but still. No, I'm saying, you, there's I, shit like that you could did this. This is the season finale for Bobo Fett. This will be that guy. You could at least, if you have a bounty hunter fight, make that shit look epic. I mean, I thought it wasn't the. I thought the rancor was epic enough. Bro, this is a guy. Right, this is the season finale for Star Wars, my guy. It gotta be epic all the way through. Oh man. Was Mando season? Mando season two, season finale. Was that not epic? The whole episode. Yes, epic. nigga. Okay, season also, one. But also, let me just say this, Mandalorian. You had a whole fucking season. Season one of Mandalorian was epic, was it not? Hmm? Was season one not epic of Mandalorian, the last episode? Yeah, it was epic. It was rough. Okay then. My point is that this shit wasn't epic. It felt like this. It felt like we had. It felt like this was not. The, we had another week of uh, episodes. I thought we had another week of show. I forgot that it was season finale. Huh. It didn't. It, it didn't feel like that. The Cad Bane fight thought was too short. It should have been a longer fight. That's all I'm saying. It was dope what I did, but it could have made it longer. Probably out. I would like seeing him in the sky. Jetpack boots going crazy. I don't know. I mean, a when you reach an old age, because no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'll bring up this point. Because you you never watched Rebels, okay, but in bro. Rebels, when Darth Maul came to Tatooine looking for Obi Wan, mm. that fight was what three fucking seconds. Okay, 
My point is then, you should have made this fucking show if that's the case then. If it's old, Bubba Fett's too old, you should have made a goddamn show. This shit was asked because you made a character that wasn't the fucking character that people liked. And I'm not a Bubba Fett fan like that. There's people that be Bubba you, you try to tell me, Bo true Bubba Fett fan, like Bubba Fett's their favorite character, were impressed with this show. They were happy to show. Who's asking for season two? I didn't even expect a season two, my No! Okay, was this show epic? You're a Boba Fett fan, right? Mm -hmm. Was this show epic for Boba Fett? Did it like, was like, damn, I can't wait to rewatch this motherfucker again. This shit was epic. Probably not, but hey. That's a problem! At the, end of, at the end of the day, I was just happy to see Boba Fett on screen. You didn't see Boba Fett on screen! You saw a fucking knockoff! I saw Boba Fett, man. What Boba Fett do you like? What's your favorite Boba Fett? I, it's a. What? It, right. is, it is a Boba Fett at a different stage of his life. Then the show should have been made like they should. If they want to make a show about Boba Fett, it should have been when he was in his prime, Empire Strikes Back, that kind of time. Well, obviously they want this show to connect with the Mandalorian. This show didn't connect. This yeah, it did connect with Mandalorian. It literally was the Mandalorian. We had two episodes of the season. Two, two episodes of the show were from Mandalorian season three. Hmm. They said, hey, you know what? Let's get that Mando season three started early. Go ahead and put these two episodes in back to back. <laughs> Let's get I, Mando going. Dog, I don't know, man. It, yeah, this shows. This show is supposed to be a Boba Fett show, and all I can think about is Mando and Grogu. For a character, and guys, I'm not trying to, I know, some of y'all are going to fight. I will say, that's that, fine. That, that's also another, I will, I will point out that, the whole uh, Grogu helping Mando at the end, and especially calming down the Rancor. I don't know, I, I, part of me gets tired of that sometimes. But was finna ride, hey, I thought Mando was finna ride the Rancor. I was about to be mad as fuck. Oh, uh, you talking about when he... It like he was finna ride, he tried to ride uh, it. Yeah. Can you imagine if Mando would ride the Rancor? Yeah. You talking about Boba Fett being trash? Mando's riding the Rancor? Boba Fett's Rancor? Yeah. That would be bad. Look at they do that shit. But seeing Grogu again, coming and do his thing, I'm like, bro, we don't need this. We don't need that. This ain't his show. Boba Fett, I thought Boba Fett was going to pull up and calm the Rancor down. It's his Rancor. It listens to his ass. Yeah. And you're telling me the show's an eight. I never said the show couldn't. Could. <laughs> I never said the show was amazing. But you're passing it to a seven and a half or eight. You're giving it a good grade. Because I still enjoyed it. Okay, I still and that's why I said it. it's like, for Star Wars content. It's cool. But for Boba Fett, what's the score? As far as the character. For the show, yes. Probably gets a six. Six oh, and a half. You still boost it. I get a three and a half. The show you I get like a six and a half. Hmm. Star Wars wise, it's cool. But when you think about it, this will be Boba Fett's show, it's like, huh? It doesn't work. Then I like Fang Shan. She was putting in work. Good for her. When they killed the last mob boss at the end, I thought that was Boba Fett doing that shit. That should have been Boba Fett's moment, dog. They showed him all mad about old boy killing his family, and that's nothing about, about killing the tribe and stuff like that. That's nothing. They literally let they they made us believe because Kai Ben was talking about his family and stuff like that, talking about you know about the damn um, tribe, and he was getting hot. He was ready to shoot men. So I thought that battle would be more epic. Then you got at the end, I'm thinking, oh man, oh man's gonna put that work. He gonna like, one motherfucker got hung and shit. I'm like, oh he's gonna put that work in. It's Fang uh, Shan. Oh, girl? Fang Shan? She had the Boba's moment? Did Boba deserve to have that moment with the, the Pike leader and, say, uh, and be able to look, him in his eye, uh, look, look at him through that damn T-visor and be able to tell him about what he did to his family or shoot him for what he did to his family? The tribe? And I'm asking you answers. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe they should have. Who knows? Maybe they should have. Maybe they should have. This is important. I can't with your ass, bro. Uh, you literally give this shit a pass. I don't know why you give it a pass. That's the crazy. You give it a pass. It's not a, 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 the fact that I'm giving it a pass based on just. If you would have paid to see this shit, you'd be hot. But at the end of the day, after watching the first four episodes, I kind of knew that the season finale wasn't was considering how they made the first four episodes. I kind of knew the season finale wouldn't have been. That epic as you make it out. What you mean? We literally did a bill. We talked about, hey, I want to have an epic female. We even thought about, well, who could come, who could come, who could come, and stuff like that. We thought season finale would be I good. Said, I said for a cameos. Who, but we thought the show, the season finale would be good. We were like, oh, she will be coming back on here next week. Talk about it. Can't wait. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, Can't wait. Hey, I expected the first four episodes to be great, and they weren't, so hey. I love the Luke Skywalker ep the Mando episode. Well, I'm I saying. Said, I said first four episodes. Okay, but my thing is the season finale, you already know. Okay, you said that. Fine, but now you have Mando, BK, uh, you have the old girl, you have everybody on the same in the same moment together. Mm -hmm. It should be epic. It wasn't epic. The fight scene, I thought, I thought like the, the the damn battle between was boring. It was like, oh, it's too long, bro. We gotta do some more shit. They should, you know, also they fucked up. What? This is what I had envisioned when I thought about season finale when we talked about it a couple weeks ago or last week and then the week before. Mm -hmm. I thought the battle would be outside Jabba's palace. 
open area, shit like that. That I think that'd be a little bit better. Kind of like Balgeonosis. That would look a lot better to me than how them all up in the town and shit like that. It didn't feel. It didn't look. It. It was boring. It was very closed off. I rather them have them all in the open field shooting each other, blasting everybody, getting blasted and shit. The Rancor pop out the fucking Jumbo's Palace and shit. But a lot better than me. You know what the battle reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of a, me playing Star Wars Battlefront. That's what that shit feels like. And that's not good. I. Feels good to me. But look, playing Battlefront's cool because you're playing, uh, the playing Battlefront, that's your, what's the, the goal game? Hey, we have a little battle, shoot each other, cool. For a season finale of a show, based off a character who people talk about as the most pop, second most popular character in Star behind Darth Vader. For it to end like this is sad. And the fact Tomorrow Morrison has been said, been, has been, he been put out there like, yeah, the character talks too much, other kind of shit. He knows this shit's ass. He knows this shit's, I, I, I'm not blaming him. He did his thing, when he, he did it the best he could. It wasn't his fault. But even he knows and if Tamara Morris is telling you, hey, I shouldn't be talking this much. There's a problem. No, I agree with that. Okay, then. So if he's telling the show, if he has problems with the show, why should we? We talk about, people thought, we thought Ryan Johnson, I know I'm going a little rant. We thought Ryan Johnson all the time for how he did Luke Skywalker. Luke said that shit was going to be ass, right? Mm -hmm. Same shit here. John Favreau, hate to say it, bro, you got to hold his L for this one. got to hold his L. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I love John Favreau, but I still love, him. and I still love Star Wars. It ain't changing. Star, I'm still gonna support Obi Wan and the rest of these shows. But damn, bro, this, is, this one was bad. This one was bad. Luckily, Obi Wan's on the way after Moon Knight, but this was bad. And I, I know I'm, I'm ranting. Y'all probably man, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. But I'm just saying, guys. For me, I expected it to be. I just expected a little bit more out of the season finale. I, wa I watch. I like it. Gotta be good because you have Mando on screen. You got all these characters. You got Bubble Fett. We're finally gonna get this big battle with Cad Bane and stuff like that, and it is damn little expectations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, and seeing you know, old girl got too much screen time too. Who? The one I be fixing the ship always. Oh, the, I need to see her in the battle, bro. Mm -hmm. I, it is, I I don't know, man. It just didn't feel right. Yeah. Totally. Well, I mean, the last episode is kind of like they just threw everybody, everybody, in. threw everybody in. I can live with her. Actually, let me change it back. I can live with her. She wasn't too hard. New to, to do with the, the tail, the, the ponytail they call him. The, what they call him? The tail. What they call his ass? The ponytail. The one of the damn things on the only head that they kept making fun of him for. Oh, the the twi twilight. Yeah, the only made, they kept making fun of his, yeah, his yeah, yeah. him. His tail head, whatever the fuck you call it. Um, I thought he was gonna get shot. I was okay hoping he get his ass shot. Oh yeah, I thought he was too. I, I was, was like, like hey, <laughs> that would be funny if Bubble would have sent his ass out there. I expect the episode felt cheap to me. Like it doesn't feel like. Star Wars quality where I'm used to Star Wars being, especially with the Mandalorian show. And I think that's a problem because Mandalorian has shown the way as far as, <laughs> this is the way. Especially as far as like for Star Wars quality, as far as for, for the shows. Like I know Disney Plus whole theme about these shows like Star Wars, Marvel, was that we're going to give you movie quality through streaming with shows. And I feel like Mando does a great job of that. I feel like a lot of these shows do a great job of that. But both Fett just didn't feel like that for the season finale. Like two droids only, that's it? Like even Mando, when they came to when when um old boy came down, the, the black dude came down from Mando in season one. He brought a whole damn army of stormtroopers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like even that, like think about it, there was only four of them, right? The four people that were holding down the fort with Mando, mm -hmm. right? Right. Same about this group, right? We thought about four people. Maybe five, he'll have like five people working for him. And actually, he had more, but seven or eight people on the team, mm -hmm. and they brought two droids only. Them two big ass droids. That's it. Does that feel kind of cheap to you? Well, the two big ass droids did work. But, no problem. but they, but Mando season one, they literally brought fucking these them black fucking storm, they brought all them damn stormtroopers out. One was the Empire, which controls every fucking thing in the whole entire galaxy. Okay. Controls many star systems. I know the Empire. Pretty sure Mandalorian takes place after a little bit of the fall of the Empire, but they still have some remnants of the Empire around. Okay. Whereas you have an underground criminal organization. Okay. So I think those are kind of two different. No, it's not things. because I think, the, I think the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is they made sure to put the budget into the first more the first Man Warren season finale to make it look epic and be epic. Yeah. They put the budget. This still looks like they put the budget. budget. The, yeah, of course the budget was there for the fucking Man It should be there for this. This was, this was a fucking spinoff. So it should said, still be. No, they no, said, we are not. No, they hell no. Right, yeah, that's, we, that's we, bullshit. We that much you are, it. Bro, you are, you are, you, 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 you,
They only had the setting pretty much in one fucking place, which was Tatooine. But DeAndre, there's not. They weren't doing that. They we're, were not talking to... about Andor, nigga. We talking about Boba Fett. But that's what I'm trying to say, dog. Is that they weren't trying to fucking put much into a budget with this series. Then that's a problem. There's a difference. Then that's a problem with Disney. Then Disney don't even have Star Wars on one. Okay, well maybe because they DeAndre, don't. no, there's no, there's no excuse for that. You say about, but this is your one of your biggest characters. I bet Obi-Wan's gonna have the budget. Andor's gonna have the budget. They got season. They got another season two for Andor. Okay. It hasn't dropped. How, how do we know Obi-Wan's gonna have the budget? I mean, Obi-Wan's gonna have the budget. It, it might, it might, but then when you watch it, hey, don't don't be disappointed. You don't ever, you never know, especially especially with Obi-Wan. They and can't fuck with Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, because uh, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna be on Tatooine, so that's I'm fine. Gonna, there's no well, what I'm much saying really no, he's got some shit going down. They got the damn Sith probably coming in and shit like that. He's got some shit going on. What I'm saying is, bro, Andor. If you're gonna do low quality or sit, put less into it, Andor's the guy you do that for. Mm-hmm. Bobo Fett is your one of your most popular characters. You don't give Bobo Fett this kind of treatment. You gave Bobo Fett some bad bro, like Bobo Fett. This is like making a Vader show and making it. It's like saying, hey, we made an Obi Wan show. We're gonna make the side uh, Vader Anakin show about Vader early on. You think the budget gonna be small on that for Darth Vader? How did how you feel the budget was all? It felt cheap. For Darth Vader, I the mean, guy of Star Wars. I would be Wars. disappointed. I've said, I said it before. I but you're giving this episode seven and a half. Oh my god! You're passing this bitch. We're gonna have our eight. Okay, let me let me let me tell you my positives with the Go fucking ahead. episode. So that why I gave it a fucking okay, seven and a half. Go ahead. Shut the fuck up. Go ahead. Why? Rancor. That was fucking awesome. As uh, right there, King Kong reminded me of King Kong. Okay, keep going. All that shit. Um, I grouped that one. What was that? Mando and Boba, the teamwork there, I liked it, enjoyed it, love seeing them both on screen together. Their, their chemistry, talking okay. to each one another, okay. like that. Okay. Um, I did like uh, what's it called shit. Can't think of the name. Oh, Finnick. Yeah, Finnick got her revenge at the end. I will say the one thing I don't like. Um, got her revenge. Well, not her revenge, but you know, Vinny put that revenge in for Bobo. Shit. That ain't a problem with you? Huh? <sighs> I think of it more as a team. Both at really, Well, it's, it, they're, 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 they're a team, hey. My enemies are your enemies. Keep going. If I tell you to, if I tell you to uh, finish these motherfuckers, I expect you to kill them. Bro. I don't, I don't think that's a problem. No. Because that's like this. I'm going to let you go back to what you're doing. Do the mafia, right? The mafia work, right? Mm hmm. You're a mobster. You're the boss. You head dog. Like you head man, right? Yes. Like go boy the Godfather. Mm-hmm. Somebody kills your family, your peoples. Yeah, sure. They got to kill that main nigga who set the who set the main. My bad. I'm trying not to use that word no more. The main guy who set that who set that down. Okay, the, 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 <laughs> the main guy who put that hit out. Mm-hmm. Who's handling him? You got your people or you handling that? It depends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What ball, what mob boss is that? Some some motherfuckers don't like to so get their hands dirty. So if King people don't get they like to get their hands dirty. Oh, so if Kingpin Like you show you say why they know, right? Yes. Does Kingpin not come down and handle business sometime he gotta handle business. Yes. He okay. Handles business. But what fact I give you he's a, he's an OG, I give you that. He's a he's like he's a he's a boss man. Well let me ask you this. But you're supposed to handle let that. Let, business. Let, let me ask you this. You expect this man to handle everything. Look, he killed Cad Bane. Is that not enough? No, because you literally killed them damn speeder people mad as shit because you thought they killed your family. Uh, not your family, your tribe. And it wasn't them. You, you found who it really was. You ain't handling that? I could have said if Finn Shimmer killed everybody else in the building. That was, and then you saw only him by himself. And Bubba pulls up out the damn, open the damn thing. And the music starts playing. Like, you see Bubba Fett pulling up to finish him off. What I would have done. That would have been a Bubba moment. What I would have done. The only. But go ahead, go ahead. I, think, I think we can meet halfway here. I, what I would have done. Bubba, like, Bubba kills Cad Bane, Fennec kills them niggas, she brings the main one back, and then Bubba feeds him to the Rancor. I've been cool, I've been cool with that. Like, she brings, she presents him to Bubba. Nah, Bubba's, nah, he need a bullet in his head. He gotta get shot. Nah, I, I'll feed him to the Rancor. That's more, that's more painful to me. I mean, nah, I gotta, I gotta put the bullet in his oh head. My God. But, like I was saying, I, I, but keep going back to your list of things you like. I'm sorry. I just um, wanna, go ahead. I like the fight. I didn't have no problem with it. <laughs> Besides all the black dude doing that, that spin move. That shit was kind of goofy, but... Um, nah, I liked it. I th- It was a nice battle. I enjoyed it. Hey, okay. Hey, I'm not going to... Hey, teach your zone, bro. All I'm saying is episode 3 disappointed. It was just... 
And when you look at it as a whole, as far as the story... The fact you give this episode 7 5 kind of crazy, man. That's crazy. Oh, okay. That's crazy. That I, actually, crazy. I just think the story as a whole... I mean, I didn't... I don't know. I, I never liked Boba's, like, attachment to the people of um, Tatooine. Because I, I was like, huh. When did... Like, since when was it that he started calling these people, like, these are my people? Like, I don't know. I felt like This that, is why I, I said, said, though. I felt like that was kind of rushed. This is why that. I said the beginning, though. When we first, when they first announced it, I said, like, you don't need no damn Boba Fett show. You didn't need it. Did you need this show? Hell no. You didn't need this shit. You didn't need this show. You could put this shit back. If you want to do this show, you should do this with, while Empire Strikes Back with the original Boba Fett. To say I didn't need this show? No. no we I, didn't need the show. I'm not going to say that. So what did you get? Should, should, I, should we, as Boba Fett fans, had a better show? Yes. You didn't? What Boba Fett fan is happy with how the show went down? The whole season. It could have been better. Then you don't need it. It didn't fall Boba Fett. It went to Mando, like we said. It went to Mando, Grogu, Luke. But that's what I'm saying. The story and the writing could have been better. If it was but better. That's, exactly. that's it. my thing. The writing was back. They ain't had nothing to use. They're like, hey, we ain't got that much for Boba Fett. We don't know what to really do with him. We ain't got that much. We're going to have to push Mando in this bitch. We ain't got nowhere no to go with him. Dog. Why do you bring Mando back? If you, if you have Boba Fett if set. You're bringing, if you're bringing Boba back in this timeline, it's not like you're going to have anything to use for him because everything that Boba did then was... Why, that, that then why give him a... Why make it? Oh, I, like I said, you agree with this. You agree with this right here. I said, I would prefer if you just have Boba Fett stick with Mando as a, like, on, on, go back to be on the Mando show sometimes. I'll be cool with that. He was better off as a side character than Mando. Even this show, when he's following Mando, he's better off as a side character to Mando. I think Mando's a lead guy in this show still too. Boba Fett takes the back seat to Mando in this show. And that season finale, they're fighting together. It's Mando, then Boba. Like in the like in this Mandalorian show. All I'm saying is you didn't need this show. This show didn't give you anything you need. Like I told, like I said to you before, I said, bro, you can have man. You can, you want to bring Boba Fett back? Cool. Bring back an increments in Mando's show. You didn't need to give him his own show. Because what you did was, you gave him a show, you had no material for real, you rarely had any material, you have killed the character of some people. Some people don't like this this man alone, you, this Boba Fett you created, so you killed the character in some way to people. Boba Fett, uh, another thing, Boba Fett takes off his damn helmet too much. He's... He is not like Mando, nigga. I know he's not like Mando, but Boba Fett has a certain... There's a certain look, when Boba Fett had the helmet on, he's in menacing. Tamir Morrison saying menacing when I don't have the, the goddamn helmet on, bro. I just want to see Boba Fett's known to have a helmet on all the time. When he's in battle, motherfucker has, has his helmet on. That's all that matters. Jango Fett, when Jango Fett was, chill, when Jango Fett was chilling in, in Clone Wars, he didn't have his helmet on. Yeah, Andre. Boba Fett's on the streets of Tatooine with no helmet. Just walking around with the helmet on the side. I wish, I'm the same person, I wish he would wear the helmet a little bit more in the show. Even that scene where he's having, when he's sitting there with the mob bosses talking. I wish he had his helmet on. That's all I'm saying. I wish he would wear the helmet a little bit more. Okay. And if you want to do it, well, no, I'm not going to say that. But all I'm saying is, bro, disappointing show. End credit. Oh, ass. No fucking point of the end credit scene. That shit was weak. We didn't need that shit. Why? Tell me why. We don't need that. Oh my god, Javante. Maybe it fucking sets up into the Mandalorian. Who fucking knows? DeAndre, did you want? Did I need to see the guy with the damn metal thing with the damn the damn really, attaching guy? I, 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 why? At the end of the day, it gives fans know. It gives fans. It don't give us shit. I guess it gives them comfort knowing that oh, Cobb Vanth is alive still, because he he was a likable character along among most people. Yeah, I didn't need that for a post credits. You could show him coming back in Mandalorian. Usually, it doesn't even Star Wars doesn't even have post fucking credits. What you mean, Mandalorian did the same shit? Okay, the twice. Show, the show, I'm, I'm. That, speaking, well, this is a I'm show, thinking, fool. I'm for the movie, this is a show. Still, this is a show just like the Mandalorian show. Okay, fine. It had two post credits. Dark Saber in the first season. Okay. Second season had Boba Fett show. You didn't. You showed me this, uh, Cobb Van shit. I don't that know. shit was ass. Who knows? Maybe he sets up into, like I said, maybe he sets up in the Mandalorian. Maybe they do make a, a fucking season two of Book of Boba and Cobb Van. But yeah, Cobb, my point. Cobb Van and Boba got to team up because guess what? Cad Bane is still alive. I don't fucking know. Who knows? My man? point is this. You gave me two epic post credits and I was like, okay, I can look forward to something. You, you gave me this whack ass post credits that the dude fucking putting together, uh, gonna be fixing up and putting attachments on. I, didn't, I was like, oh, this is the post credits scene? Well, hey, my guy, you said you, the episode wasn't epic, so I don't know why you expected post credits scene to be epic, too. Bro, you want some shit, bro. You want some shit. You ain't speaking that real, bro. You, all you over here doing is fucking uh, 
talking to Kathleen Kennedy too damn much. I'm not, bro. Because your last time you're talking about, well, bro, you're, so you're making excuses for the show. I'm not making any yeah, excuses. Right. You're about, it's called, I know what the no. fuck I signed up for when I saw those first four episodes. Then you should know. Then, then you can't. I knew. Okay, okay, but you can't. You keep telling me, well, I need the show in a way. Like, I, I can tell you, I can say it. You don't need the show. For the sake of, yes, it's cool to see Bubble on screen. Yes, but you, said said you, know, you said the show's ass. You literally put out a show saying the show sucks. Bubble, you said, bubble, bubble, bubble. You said the show sucks because you literally said, after the first four episodes, I knew what I was getting myself into. So you basically said the first four episodes, you were like, I'm not impressed, kind of sucks. I know what I'm getting the rest I'm of the I'm talking about as far as just storytelling and everything else. Then the show sucked then. But I like, I like seeing Bubble on screen. Then I'm saying, that's, stop, don't fanboy right now. Just be real. Don't fanboy. Stop, fa don't, stop thinking about it. Oh, Bubble Fence on screen, I'm happy. Just be real. The story was good or ass. The season story was uh, good or ass. Ass. Okay. Did you need this show? Stop. Don't stop. Don't believe the shit about, oh, I'm glad to see Bobo Fit on screen. Did you need the damn show? Actually, well, technically. Because I can go back to you. I can say, hey, bro, shit, I, the last Transformer Vigil of the Fallen, or the last Transformers they made was ass, but I like seeing Optimus Prime with the fucking sword. No, you I need it. No, you were not. No, the same no. shit you're saying. That you're using, different. you're fanning out, you're using, fan, you're fanning out to the bubble fat shit. Say, show, oh, 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 I see bubble fat. There were still a lot of positives that I took away from the show in general, from each episode. There were, there were some positives. Was this bubble fat? You like bubble, you love bubble fat, right? What yes. made you start loving bubble fat? Oh my god. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, something like that, right? Cartoon, this, uh, Robot Chicken. Clo okay. Clone Wars, what else made you like bubble fat? Robot Chicken. Okay. That's part of my channel. <laughs> that That's part of the that, problem. That was the story of when okay, I started liking Boba Fett. Okay, there's other people out there that yes. are legit Boba Fett fans. That, yes. That's a fair character. Well, I don't know how, how the fuck they like Boba Fett when he wasn't even on screen that much. How I, I was obviously Because he looks cool. It was not about That's what made Boba Fett unique because he looked cool. He didn't say that much. It was a character that had limited, you knew limited about him. So it's like, oh shit. And when he started comics. So that's my, that's my point. Like that. That's my point, my guy. Is if he, if people liked him based on just looks, then I don't know what the fuck y'all are expecting to get out of him from the story perspective. That's guy, because you made a show. The fact you made a show meant you had some this meant you had some story. It's like the Snake Eyes movie. The fact that you made a movie about slow, solely Snake Eyes meant you had Snake Eyes content. And it didn't work. Same situation here, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm that's, you're basically agree with me. If you were like him for those reasons back then in Empire Shining, he looked cool and so like that, he barely said it, he was like mysterious, then what'd you expect here? A lot of people start saying they're like, why are we get a Boba Fett show? If we get a Boba Fett show, that means we must have some content that you know what you're gonna tell a story about. And that's the problem, the story didn't have nowhere to go. It's just building, my guy. It's, it's building. It's, build, it's building shit for the Star Wars universe. Stick it, that's, that's bullshit. That's, you, that's, wait, that's wait, bullshit. I don't know, people might ask fucking, oh, okay, what happened to Tatooine after Jabba? DeAndre, Jabba. you're a, you're, you, fucking know. you are Guess bullshitting. What? Guess what, Boba Fett No, get that. the fuck out of here. I don't know. You can't tell me, oh, Boba Fett is just, just a little side piece to get ready to the next, the next uh, Andor and Obi Wine and shit. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit. That's the case that Dizzy and Star Wars, Dizzy did Star Wars dirty. Because that's not how it's supposed to be, especially for Boba Fett. That, you do some shit like that with a kid like Andor, not fucking Boba Fett. And maybe because I've seen the worst with fucking Star Wars. I've seen The Last Jedi. No, so, don't, try, don't, don't bring so, Last Jedi okay, in. So no. So, seeing Boba Fett actually ain't that bad. Bro, you are making so many like excuses, season. bro. You're making excuses, Lily. You're making excuses. That's not, hey. You're making excuses. It is what it you're, bringing is. Up, you're bringing up Last Jedi and movies like that. <laughs> it is what it is. No, you're bringing up those movies, but I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying well, I expected the worst. I, I saw the worst that Star Wars gave me. With what? With The Last Jedi. <laughs> Bro, look, Last Jedi got flaws. I'll give you that. Last Jedi got flaws. The one, the flaws of Last Jedi because the story's all over the place because it's two different directors, two different visions. Mm -hmm. Stories, movies ass. I'd rather watch Last Jedi than Book of Boba Fett, the yeah. show. You want, which you rather watch? Last Jedi or Book of Boba Fett again? I watch the whole Bo season. I watch Book of Boba. Why? Week. Which one's better? What, 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 what Book of Boba, Boba does better? What does it do better? I just enjoy it more, nigga. Because Boba Fett, it's because the character's nostalgic. That's the only reason. The show's not better. Uh, so the, 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 the content ain't better. The story is just his ass. There's more memorable scenes for me. Because you're using nostalgia. Luke. Ahsoka. That's a <sighs> nostalgia. That ain't really, you ain't saying nothing but nostalgia. The Last Jedi only had one scene. And that was that fucking... Uh, the, ball, the throne room. Which was nice. And the fucking uh, ship. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that's a good movie. Wonder Bubba, I had the train sequence, which was nice. Okay. I agree with that one. I had... I gotta think about the, all the episodes again. All I'm saying is, bro, <laughs> this shit's ass. I feel, like, I feel like Loki no bullshit. You making excuses for the show. But that's fine. It is what it is. And I feel, but you're making excuses. I, and I feel like... Uh, 
I'm holding it to the, you're not see you don't hold shit to the standard. It's Star Wars. It's not hell to fucking um a damn low end uh damn movie. It's a it's Star Wars, my guy. Star Wars is on this shit. This is Disney. It's pro, Star Wars. It has a higher standard as hell. Cause I held no fucking little ass standard. I feel like you're expecting. That's what that's what I want to say. I feel like you're expecting too much, my guy. You expected too much from this. So shit. you expect too much from last Jedi. Hmm? You expect too much from last Jedi. Hell, <laughs> hell yeah. Nigga. No 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 no. That's the, that's not. But that's my point. It's Star Wars. We have. It's not like I'm not. I didn't say that unrealistic. That should have been added. I said the story should be better for Star for Star Wars. I expect better. It's Star Wars. It's like Marvel or DC. Those are top tier properties. I expect a certain level of fucking content. A, fu a second, a certain level of fucking uh, expenses spent. A certain level of fucking quality. To look at. I didn't get that. But it's what it is. We both disagree on this. Shit, I see. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh... Yeah, you definitely need some water. I'm fine, bro. I'm, just, I'm, I'm done. I'm about to get off the, we about to get off the bitch anyway. I'm good. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm fine, bro. You, you just bullshit, bro. I'm really disappointing your ass for your nonsense. It ain't because you got a different opinion. It's just because you, you literally over here give me bullshit. Oh, uh, is that so? You are. You're like, oh, well, I didn't expect you after the first four episodes. Give me that bullshit. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why you don't have a problem with that. The problem is because you're, you, you're making excuses. Oh. You're not, you're, you're making excuses for this shit. Like, oh, it is what it is, bro. It's for a bigger universe. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's a problem. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I enjoy, look, at the end of the day, I enjoyed it. But Booker Bowl was probably... The show as a whole, I'll probably give it a 7 out of 10. I enjoyed right. it. All right, y'all. Well, y'all heard it here first. Yep. Close it up, though. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I, I, I just want to make sure. I didn't know if you were. I'm done. I'm in my room. I'm good. Okay, I'm, I'm done. You can go. You can go because we, I, I, we, we clearly just discreet. I switched angle. Okay, all right. good. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts on Book of Bola season seven, season one. I'm pretty sure only season. Uh, episode seven, season finale. Let us know your thoughts down below in the comment section, and let us know what your thoughts on thoughts on Book of Bola Fett as a whole. And uh, if you like this discussion slash rant. Uh, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to tune in for more. I'm DeAndre. Javante. And may the force be with you guys. Take care, guys. You're going to need the force for this bitch. Mm -hmm.